Hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. It seems like ages since we last spoke. What have I been doing over the last month? Because I upload vlogs every month. So uh, consider subscribing if you're into a bit of wildlife and just outdoors. So uh, what have I been doing? I've been trying to get closer to the wildlife and some of your videos have been helping me. So um, I've been scoping out this place uh, for quite a while and uh, I know there's deer here because we saw in my last vlog the fantastic footage from the wildlife cameras that I put out and we got deer, fox, hare, rabbits and uh, I think that was it but that's enough so uh, that was further down the uh, the moor and I've been trying to suss out where the wildlife is hanging out particularly the deer our largest wild animal So to get to the place where I think we might see some wildlife today and I've got my uh, fantastic camera with me, it is a different camera uh, to what I've normally had. I've traded that camera in for something a little bit better and in short it's the Lumix G9 and I've got the uh, 100 to 400 millimeter um, like a lens on there. So I've invested a little bit more in this wildlife and uh, hoping to bring you some great pictures. So uh, that's enough about the cameras. So we are in quite a large old quarry right now and that sort of cuts off this other land from, from your general uh, hikers and walkers. So um, hence you can see the, uh, the deer tracks. And so as I'm walking along here and coming around these little corners, I always expect to just spot one before it spots me. But not today. You can see the path extending up there. We'll be turning off and going down. But uh, they definitely trot along here quite often. Right now the wind is behind me. So it's not ideal. I'm sure if there was deer, they smelt me a long time ago. So there's another opportunity here to just catch a deer. A fox, just as we come over here. Nothing. Now it is evening time, the roundabout six o'clock and I have regularly seen them down you maybe see the woods in the distance right down there uh, a little bit of woodland I have seen them knocking about around there and I think that's where they go for the uh, late evening into the night and I think that's the thing with this uh, wildlife photography and videography trying to capture something on camera is it brings out the uh, hunting skills and I really like that I like just standing here and just looking out. It's so peaceful as well. If only I'd just stopped talking. <laughs> it's so peaceful just looking out down here. You just never know what you might see. I'm gonna get the binoculars out in a moment and have a, a look around. 
So I've had a good look with the binoculars down there by that uh, little bit of woodland and we will be taking a little walk down there as well. We might get some sunshine out this evening. It's getting late, I've got a couple of hours left and we might just hike down there and see what we can see. But um, I noticed that the moor has already been alight so not looking good for Yorkshire with the moors. We do get the uh, moor fires, they seem to just pop up. I don't know what the science is behind that. Of course, they can be started accidentally, people with uh, barbecues and stuff. But I think the, the peat can heat up and then in the strong sunshine, we have had some strong sunshine already, it can just uh, combust. And uh, you can see over there, um, we've already had some burning. Okay, let's take a wander down here, see what we can see. I've seen them running around here, the deer. The deer is what I'm trying to spot today. I can see some hares down there and uh, I'm finding it easy here to, to get pictures of the hares. I'll, I'll give you some pictures along the way in this vlog, things that I've picked up actually just down this way um, in a previous visit. I got a beautiful couple of shots of uh, a fox and it just walked right past in front of me and it never knew that I was there. So I'm really enjoying this area and I'm just gonna get to know it and uh, hopefully get some fantastic pictures. You're not gonna believe it. I've just seen a deer and it was it was right in front of me. A uh, pheasant flew out and it's just bounded down there. I'm gonna get the camera out, and see if I can get a shot as it, it's gonna be making its way down the bottom. We could be in luck here.
Standing absolutely still. I've got a feeling that it's calling to another one. It might be somewhere up on the hill behind me. I'm going to move back a bit now and try and work my way around. See, why is it calling? It must be calling to another. That's what I think. You tell me. <laughs> tell me in the comments. I don't think it's shouting to me. <laughs> I was hoping that the other one would turn up. I'm sure there's another one knocking about. You know, the wind is just behind me now. It's caught my scent. Amazing. Just that little breeze behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel the cool breeze just on the back of my neck. And, yeah, it knows I'm here. I'm hidden in, um, what do you call it, heap of heather. <laughs> I'm hidden in there, so they'll be doing well to see me. You can definitely smell me. So you can see that heather just above my head, that dark patch, the deer is just over there, and uh, that's where I was hiding in there i've uh, i've dropped back and uh, i've got to i've got to finish this vlog now i really hope you've enjoyed it it's hard to actually uh, hard to actually go i want to stay longer but it's going to start getting dark so i've enjoyed sneaking around i hope you've enjoyed sneaking around with me and uh, i'll show you any more uh, shots that i got but i've shown you some along the way so that turned out pretty good so you never know what you're going to get and this was definitely one of them vlogs i just came out for a little bit of a sneak around and uh, we startled that deer and it didn't go far what do you make of it uh, barking barking right at me um it must have been you let me know in the comment section below it can't have been barking at me it was definitely uh you know barking for uh assistance or maybe for its uh, parent while i've been talking to you the parent i'm sure it's the parent i'll show you the footage has arrived so that that one is not on its own anymore and uh, i just spotted the white rump two of them and uh yeah they're both there kind of looking over towards this way now they're a fair distance off so i think i did split them up and i think that really answers my question was barking for its uh, parent or partner i'm pretty sure it's parent So I've got a few more shots of it just over there as I come round the uh, quarry again, making my way back. It is getting late now. Lovely evening. We're getting good weather now. That's it for this one, as I say. Hope you've enjoyed sneaking around with me. I've really enjoyed it. And I was glad to see the other one come along. I was pretty sure there was another one somewhere. And just to think it snuck past me while we were chatting. So I will see you in about a month because I upload vlogs every month. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and uh, give me a like. Until the next one, bye.